Chelsea Flower Show 2023, all 36 gardens and winners at this year's show. From inspirational show gardens to balcony and container gardens championing small spaces. There are 36 gardens at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, all offering plenty of inspiration and take home ideas for our own outdoor spaces. The world's most prestigious gardening event, held on the grounds of the Royal Hospital Chelsea, has an array of gardens which delight, inspire and educate. This year there are 12 show gardens, 7 sanctuary gardens, 4 balcony gardens, 5 container gardens, 6 all about plants gardens and 2 feature gardens, the latter of which is unjudged. From changing the conversation about garden weeds, to drought tolerant planting to edimentals, there are some common themes running throughout the gardens this year. There's also been a strong focus once again on sustainability. Eco credentials are now a key criteria when judging, and mental health, well being, and accessibility are at the forefront. And while the balcony and container gardens champion small outdoor spaces, all about plants, held inside the Great Pavilion, interprets the positive powers of plants. But which garden design has won gold, best in show and the People's Choice Award? After undergoing a rigorous judging process, RHS judges awarded garden designers with medals, gold, silver gilt, silver and bronze, on Tuesday morning, the 23rd of May, the official opening day. Chelsea Flower Show 2023 winners. Best Show Garden. Horatio's Garden designed by Charlotte Harris and Hugo Bug. Best Construction Award, Show Garden. The Centerpoint Garden designed by Cleve West, built by Crocus. Best Sanctuary Garden. The National Brain Appeals Rare Space designed by Charlie Hawks. Best Construction Award, Sanctuary Garden. The National Brain Appeals Rare Space designed by Charlie Hawks, built by Landscape Associates Limited. Best Balcony and Container Garden. Feels Like Home designed by Rosemary Coldstream. Best All About Plants Garden. The Talitha Arts Garden designed by Joe and Laura Carey. The People's Choice winner will be announced on Friday. In the meantime, take a look at the winners and this year's gardens below. 1. The RHS and Eastern Eye Garden of Unity designed by Manoj Malda. Feature Garden, Award. N. A. Not Judged. A fiery color palette of orange and pink is inspired by garden designer Manoj's Indian heritage in this uplifting garden. Accessibility, there are bright posts with sentences in braille, and sustainability, peat-free planting and reclaimed materials are key to this garden design, which promotes community and inclusivity at its heart. 2. RHS Garden of Royal Reflection and Celebration designed by Dave Green. Feature Garden, Award. N. A. Not Judged. This secluded garden enclosed by hedging features plants favored by the royal family, specifically King Charles III and the late Queen Elizabeth II, hence the pink, white, purple and blue planting scheme. Designed to celebrate the coronation of King Charles, the garden also includes a bronze sculpture of the monarch. 3. Horatio's Garden designed by Charlotte Harris and Hugo Bug. Show Garden, Award. Gold, Best Show Garden. This immersive, restorative garden is a place of sanctuary and hope with stone cairns set amid light, airy planting. This is the first garden at Chelsea designed with the requirements of people with mobility needs at its heart and it embraces the mission of Horatio's Garden Charity to create and nurture beautiful, accessible gardens in NHS spinal injury centers. 4. The Centerpoint Garden designed by Cleve West. Show Garden, Award. Gold, Best Construction Award. The central structure of this garden is a part demolished, ruinous house, which has evolved over time as nature has taken over, it's a visceral metaphor for what it means to be young and homeless. The mixed planting includes so-called weeds and a fallen tree, whilst the pointillist style of the U paintings on the back wall uses roughly 120,000 dots to highlight the number of homeless young people in the UK. 5. A letter from a m i l l i o n i a z s p a s t d e s i g b g h e h o a n g So Garden Award, Gold. This garden represents the medicinal herbal colony located in the eastern part of j i r i s a n Known as the Mother Mountain of Korea, rocks weighing more than 200 tons form a recreation of the mountain as they layer along small stream, while the planting is based on native Korean species, as you see at the Enzanger Filipendula Formosa Nakai. The surrounding trees, edibles and herbs selected for the healing and medicinal properties. 
6. Myeloma UK, a life worth living garden designed by Chris Beardshaw. Show Garden, Award. Gold. A tranquil and meditative space. This garden by decorated RHS Chelsea designer Chris Beardshaw, celebrates the emotional and psychological health benefits of engaging with, and being immersed in, a garden of exquisite detail. It encourages those living with myeloma to pause, simply feel and be in the moment. Features include patterned planting, a calming water feature, intricate artworks, and planted woodland with two temples and multiple vistas. It's definitely a garden to be appreciated slowly, says Chris. If there were a horticultural equivalent of slow food, this would be it. 7. The Nurture Landscapes Garden Designed by Sarah Price. Show Garden, Award. Gold. Taking inspiration from Cedric Morris's Benton End Garden, which was known for its naturalistic design and breeding of at least 90 different iris varieties, this garden focuses on Benton iris and a wild planting palette, while straw cob walls provide a backdrop to the plantings. 8. The Seville's Garden Designed by Mark Gregory. Show Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. Another masterpiece from Chelsea legend Mark Gregory is the first working kitchen garden at Chelsea, adopting a plot-to-plate approach. Michelin Green-starred chef Sam Buckley will be the chef-in-residence, foraging from the garden and cooking lunch for the Chelsea pensioners. This horticultural and culinary collaboration showcases edimental planting, and aims to change the way we think about our gardens, as well as the way we eat and source our food. 9. Memoria and Greenacres Transcendence Garden designed by Gavin McWilliam and Andrew Wilson. Show Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. A spiritual, uplifting, and inspiring space for reflection and contemplation, this garden is centered around opening up positive conversations about the end of life, encouraging people to discuss the often hard-to-broach topic of death and share their dying wishes with loved ones. It immerses visitors in the healing power of nature through thoughtful design, beautiful planting schemes and clever use of water and light. 10. Samaritan's Listening Garden designed by Darren Hawks. Show Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. This thought-provoking garden is inspired by the stories of people who found the courage to reach out to Samaritans in their darkest times. The front presents suspended concrete panels, spiny plants and a cracked pathway, but as you step through the garden it becomes calmer and more open with a sunken level featuring a sculptural bench that allows two people to sit, talk, listen, and be heard. Garden designer Darren, who is a Samaritan's volunteer himself, says he has lost friends to suicide. I hope people who go to the show and have struggled with their mental health might look at the garden and immediately recognize something that isn't pretending life is perfect. 11. The RBC Bruin Dolphin Garden designed by Paul Hervé Brooks. Show Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. This rich, diverse garden demonstrates the sharing of horticultural knowledge through the generations, and provides a space to relax, find restful moments and enjoy plants. It's centered around a young couple who, having drawn on the experience and expertise of their grandparents, create their ideals of longevity, biodiversity and habitat for the future. 12. The Royal Entomological Society Garden designed by Tom Massey. Show Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. This design highlights how valuable insects are in gardens, the wider UK landscape and the global environment with a unique insect eye-inspired outdoor laboratory. The lab's roof structure is inspired by a compound insect eye. During the week, the lab will be used for real scientific research, monitoring and studying insects visiting the garden. 13. The Fauna and Flora Garden designed by Jelaine Rickards. Show Garden. Award. Silver. This garden depicts the Afromontane landscape of Central Africa and the fascinating habitat of the endangered mountain gorilla. It maps the journey of an ecotourist on a gorilla trek, tracing a rough track through changing landscapes, eventually leading to a gorilla nest, all set amongst bamboo and a towering 5-meter-high waterfall. 14. Center for Mental Health's The Balance Garden designed by Jonathan Davies and Steve Williams, Wild City Studio. Show Garden, Award, Silver. This urban community garden celebrates the relationship between authentic connections with nature and mental health. The garden uses crushed site waste as aggregates producing a wealth of wildflowers, grasses and hardy shrubs, as well as sand piles and habitat layers for wildlife. At the heart of the garden is a mushroom den, 
made from a reclaimed steel-clad shipping container. 15. The National Brain Appeals Rare Space Designed by Charlie Hawks. Sanctuary Garden Award. Gold. Best Sanctuary Garden and Best Construction Award. Designed to be enjoyed by people living with rare forms of dementia, particularly visual and spatial forms of the condition, this garden offers a balance between exploration and calm navigation. Highlights include a textured path, brightly colored seating areas, sheltered spaces that promote independent wayfinding and soothing water features to enhance the restful environment. 16. London Square Community Garden Designed by James Smith. Sanctuary Garden. Award. Gold. Inspired by the Doddington Estate in Battersea. A green oasis tucked between tower blocks with trees, shrubs, perennials and edibles. This garden is centered around bringing together a community where people can meet, relax, share food and connect with nature. There's a pergola with an outdoor kitchen, a big communal table with chess and drafts and colorful recycled chairs repurposed by the repair shop's J Blades. 17. The Biophilic Garden Atsu, Hanari designed by Kazuyuki Ishihara. Sanctuary Garden, Award. Gold. In Japan, a Hanari is a small house separated from the main building. Here, the Hanari is considered a place of healing. Wonderfully, light and shade streams through the lattice and the sound of the waterfall surrounds the Hanari. Created from a biophilic concept, a direct connection with nature can be felt while spending time inside the building. 18. Hampton's Mediterranean Garden designed by Filippo Dester. Sanctuary Garden, Award. Silver Gilt. Alfresco Dining comes to Chelsea with this contemporary outdoor living space reminiscent of the look, feel and smell of sunny Mediterranean landscapes. While an outdoor kitchen is the focus here, there's a wonderful palette of Mediterranean plants such as clouds of scented shrubs, aromatic herbs and drought-tolerant ornamental perennials. 19. The Boodles British Craft Garden designed by Thomas Hoblin. Sanctuary Garden, Award. Silver Gilt. A celebration of British craftsmanship and inspired by the pre-Raphaelite's stylized depiction of woodlands as Tom Hoblin's rather charming woodland glade-like garden. Central to the garden is an arbor, created by Cox London, which mimics the woodland surroundings in the form of intricate leafy tiles and a branch-like framework. Interior designer Rachel Chudley has decorated the interior with woodland-inspired furnishings. 20. The RSPCA Garden designed by Martin Wilson. Sanctuary Garden, Award. Silver Gilt. A stylish, modern interpretation of a wildlife sanctuary, this garden offers plenty of take-home ideas to apply to your own outdoor space. A canopy of native trees and shrubs provide shade and shelter for birds, insects and mammals as well as layers of plants and flowers to attract pollinating insects. Hidden hedgehog boxes is nestled within, dead hedges. A natural stone wall is hung with contemporary nesting boxes. Meanwhile, a green roof and wall-mounted bee hotels provide extra habitats. 21. Cavernoma on my mind designed by Tyna Suonio and Anne Hamilton. Sanctuary Garden, Award, Silver. The garden takes visitors on a sensory journey depicting the daily symptoms cavernoma patients live with. It's sponsored by the Cavernoma Society, a UK-based charity supporting those affected by this rare neurological condition. It features a living herb wall fed by running water and raspberries for their physical resemblance to cavernoma. 22. The St. George, a light here, balcony garden designed by Emma Tipping. Balcony Garden award gold depicting the character and comfort of a good local pub for young professionals this balcony garden is zoned by different seating areas all of which are surrounded by plants that are multifunctional being fragrant edible or good for cutting aside from an uplifting planting scheme rubbish bins are repurposed as containers and benches are made from reclaimed railway sleepers 23 the Folio Society's Reading Room Garden designed by Catherine Holland. Balcony Garden, Award. Silver Gilt. Inspired by the beauty and craftsmanship of the Folio Society's editions of Beloved Stories, this balcony garden provides an adaptable and versatile outdoor space to enable city dwellers to immerse themselves in nature and create a peaceful reading nook amongst the hustle and bustle of urban life. 24. 
the restorative balcony garden designed by Christina Cobb. Balcony Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. Demonstrating how to create a space which is environmentally conscious without compromising on aesthetic or quality, this garden mixes reclaimed items with carefully selected new materials. A water table doubles up as a birdbath and source of meditative sound. Reclaimed teak is used for practical shelving, and salvaged terracotta planters with unique patina decorate the entrance and rear wall. 25. The Doorstep Library Garden. Words take you places designed by Ginny Dennison Pender, Philippa Craddock, and Anna Garner. Balcony Garden, Award. Silver. Combining the magic of reading and the importance of rainforests, delicate, textural plants reminiscent of temperate and tropical rainforests illustrate the power of books to transport you to anywhere in the world. The seated area provides a calming space to focus the mind. 26. Feels like home designed by Rosemary Coldstream. Container Garden, Award. Gold, Best Balcony and Container Garden. Inspired by the designer's childhood in New Zealand, sculptural plants, rich colors and natural materials combine to create a green oasis that feels like home. Highlights include handmade clay pots and a bench seat made from reclaimed cowrie, an ancient New Zealand native timber sustainably sourced. 27. The Hampton Stargart Garden designed by Joanne Edmonds and Camilla Windsor Clive. Container Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. This sensory garden, designed for those affected by Stargardt's disease who are losing their sight, is intended to appeal to their senses. Influenced by the Hampshire countryside, there's the calming sound of running water, the scent of the plants and the silky feel of the wooden seats, all subtle choices that do not overwhelm. 28. The Platform Garden designed by Amelia Bouquet and Emily Bossiger. Container Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. Inspired by unused overground platforms in London, this garden highlights the importance of planting in transportation areas, however small, to improve biodiversity, rainwater collection, carbon capture and enhance people's well-being. There's graphic retro tiles, recycled concrete litter bins as planters, and recycled paving. 29. The Shifting Garden designed by the Chelsea Gardener. Container Garden, Award, Silver Gilt. Designed to demonstrate a climate change-resistant planting scheme, there's an emphasis on sustainability in this garden, through the use of natural, bio-composite and recycled materials. Along the borders, recycled plastic rod screens cleverly represent water without the use of water, whilst containers with inbuilt seating, constructed from hypertufa, sit against the dark backdrop. 30. The Mary Anning Space to Learn Garden designed by Julie Haylock and Andrew Haylock. Container Garden, Award. Bronze. Inspired by Mary Anning, the pioneering paleontologist and fossil collector, and imagined in the grounds of a Dorset primary school, this small outdoor educational area is surrounded by shade-loving plants in tree stump containers and seats carved from a single tree trunk, providing a Jurassic-esque atmosphere. The limestone crazy paving is engraved with the schoolyard tongue twister, she sells seashells, which was reportedly written about Mary. 31. The Talitha Arts Garden designed by Joe and Laura Carey. All About Plants, Award. Gold, Best All About Plants Garden. A celebration of the creative arts and their therapeutic power to restore the lives of those who have suffered trauma, this garden unites sculpture, performance and planting. The minimalist palette of two main colors conveys the delicate moment between darkness, trauma, and light, transformation. 32. The Teapot Trust. Elsewhere Garden Designed by Semple Beg. All About Plants, Award. Gold. Teapot Trust is a charity at the forefront of transformative mental health support that provides art therapy to children, young people and their families living with chronic conditions. This garden is a fantasy garden representing a child's imagination as it blossoms in response to the freedom gifted by art therapy. 33. The Natural Affinity Garden for Aspens Designed by Camellia Taylor. All About Plants, Award, Silver Gilt. Aspens is a charity which supports people on the autism spectrum and with learning disabilities. Focusing on the connection between nature, health and well-being, each planting zone targets specific senses, whilst a calming color palette encourages wildlife and provides a peaceful haven to be enjoyed by Aspens community. 34. The Choose Love Garden designed by Jane Porter. All About Plants, Award, Award, Silver Gilt. 
This garden is inspired by refugee migration routes across Europe, the concept of desire lines, informal paths, and the resilience of displaced people. The linear drifts of plants are representative of what a refugee might encounter along a migration route, while boulder seeding provides rest and stillness. 35. The School Food Matters Garden Designed by Harry Holding. All About Plants, Award, Silver Gilt. This garden is an immersive, forageable and naturalistic landscape for children to learn and explore. Edible plants are woven throughout, the majority of which are drought-tolerant, while child-sized paths guide children through the garden. The walls are inscribed with direct quotes from the children, reflecting what nature means to them. 36. The Sadler's Wells East Garden designed by Alexa Ryan Mills. All About Plants, Award. Silver. This dance-inspired garden celebrates the next generation of dancers and appreciators of dance in East London, where the new Sadler's Wells East venue will open in 2024. This energetic garden comes to life through distinctive trees and shrubs and colorful perennials and annuals echoing shapes of dance. There's also a nod to the manufacturing heritage of East London with the use of reclaimed or sustainably sourced brick, timber and metal.